Hello, my name is Nancy Strickland, and in the next seven minutes I'm going to show you how to make your Windows Phone 7 Silverlight applications location aware. The Microsoft Location Service lets you create location aware applications for Windows Phone 7. The service can get location data from GPS, Wi Fi, and or cellular, and it provides the location to applications through a managed code interface. The Geo Coordinate Watcher class from the System Device Location Namespace in the .NET Framework exposes the location service in code. To get location data, you'll instantiate a Geo Coordinate Watcher and call Start to start acquiring data from the current location provider. There are a couple of properties you'll need to set before you call the Start method. One is Movement Threshold. GPS sensors are usually very sensitive and that can be a problem because things in the environment can cause signal reflection and make it look to the GPS like location has changed when it hasn't. To cut down on these fault signals you should set the movement threshold property of your location service. That sets a minimum movement that's required before the position changed event is fired. A common choice for this value is 20 meaning that position changes of less than 20 meters are ignored and you could make the value higher depending on the logic of your app. Setting the threshold actually makes your application more accurate because it ignores meaningless noise and it also reduces power consumption. And the other property is accuracy. You can get location at two levels of accuracy, high and low. You set this when you instantiate the service and if you don't set an accuracy, it defaults to low. To get higher accuracy, the service uses the GPS, but that also uses more power than Wi-Fi or cellular, which brings me to the topic of power usage. Anyone who's writing code to run on any mobile device should always consider how to minimize power usage. In the case of location-aware apps, there are two considerations. Use lower accuracy whenever possible, and keep the location service turned off when the application isn't actively using it. Now let's look at a demo. Visual Studio 2010 uses an emulator for testing and debugging your Windows Phone 7 application. We won't have access to a real GPS, of course, but I can show you how to write code that should work on the real hardware. I'll open a new project using the Silverlight template for Windows Phone applications that you can get by following the installation instructions in the Getting Started video that's part of this series. Now I'll drag two text boxes, one for latitude and one for longitude, onto the page, and then a button. Clicking the button will activate the location service, so I'll double-click it now to get the event handler and code. Now on the code page, I'll first add a reference to the DLL. I'll right-click the solution and add a reference. And under the .NET tab here, I'm going to select System Device. And I'll put a using statement for it in my code. Using System Device Location. Now I'll declare a variable for the class that I'm going to use to access the location service, the Geo Coordinate Watcher class. And then here in the constructor, or it could be in the page loaded event, I'll instantiate the watcher. I'm also going to set up a movement threshold of 20 meters. And I'll set up a delegate for the position changed event. I'll just type the plus equal and tab twice so Visual Studio will do the work for me. And now in the button click handler, I'll write the code to start the service. And now I'll write the code for the position changed event handler. What's going on here is that while location service is running, we want to run another method asynchronously to access its event args in this user interface thread. So we're using the dispatcher to invoke a second method, my position changed, asynchronously. So that means that now I'll need to write the second method, this my position changed method. And now the argument to it has to be the same as this second argument to the event handler. So I'll just copy and paste it. And now for the body of that method, I'll use the event args 
to get the latitude and the longitude. I'll need to change them to strings, and I'll add a little formatting for the decimal points. I'll put the latitude into the first text box and the longitude into the second. And then for this particular app, I'm going to stop the watcher. Now I'm ready to run it. I'll click the button, and there are my coordinates. Of course, this is an emulator, and these coordinates aren't coming from a real GPS. They're just here for demonstration. And in a real application, of course, you do whatever you wanted with that data, not just display it. This was a simple demo of just the basics of the location service. There's lots more you'll need to do to write a really robust application that uses location. For example, the user has to grant permission for the location service to operate. And you'll want to know how to detect whether that's been done or not. And there are other useful properties that I didn't cover. So here's a link to the MSDN documentation for location services with more topics and with sample code for a fuller application. It also has sample code that can emulate getting location data for testing and debugging. And that's been a quick 7-minute look at location awareness in Windows Phone 7. I'll put a copy of the code up on my blog for download, and as I post new videos, I announce it on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.